FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. Almond in the Morning. Common Sense Radio. Good morning, you bunch of drunks. Be careful out there on I-70, Earth City. Police chase going on. Red pickup being chased by a couple of officers, so be careful out there. Speaking of our brave officers... How about this, a fundraiser for Craig Tudor, who is the injured Hazelwood officer. You know, he was uh, severely injured when he was responding to an emergency call with his lights and siren activated. And oncoming driver turned right into him and that just was his car overturned. And so he's badly injured. 11-year Hazelwood police veteran. We're going to put the info about this benefit for he and his family it's put on by the hazelwood police wives association so we really appreciate them giving us a heads up on this coming up this saturday starting at 11 o'clock on through five and you got a silent auction 50 50 raffle karaoke barbecue kids events they've got the bounce house face painting dare characters out there and this at the red birds sports bar on dunn road All the proceeds going to help Officer Tudor. So it's a great event. So if you can turn out for this, we'll put all the information up there on the electric stove for you. So you can check it out and maybe stop by. We continue our well wishes to Officer Tudor as well. And for his speedy recovery. But it it is prognosticated to be a long one. So, and of course expensive. Mm -hmm. So just... Hopefully you can help out. We got a lot of people want to talk on the phone. If you guys can hold on over the 810 break, that'd be great. You also have to hear from this Tennessee woman who goes on a Facebook rant about girls and selfies. It's really great. She's a mom and goes by the name of Whoa Susanna on her Facebook page. So that's... uh, going to be good. But I hope you guys can hang on because I do want to take your calls. And don't forget, we got our theater ticket giveaway. I want to get to Mark Milton, who I had the pleasure of meeting at a, an event in Kirkwood a while back. Mark Milton is running for state rep there in District 9-0, that beautiful Kirkwood area there. Mark Milton at Mark Milton Mo, How you doing, brother? Good morning, Jamie. Thanks for having me. Hey, uh, great. It was great to meet you not too long ago. I know you're passionate about your public service. And tell me a little bit about yourself, or tell us about yourself, friend. Sure, Jamie. Well, I've never run for office before, uh, but I decided to get into this race because I think, frankly, St. Louis is underachieving as a region. Uh, I think we need a Republican from St. Louis County who can go down to Jeff City and, uh, frankly, work on the issues that matter to St. Louisans and, and certainly District 90. Uh, I'm really focused on getting the economy growing again here in St. Louis, and that's what I'll be focused on when I get elected, is is bringing you know good-paying jobs back to the St. Louis area. And isn't that the truth, that we need, we need more of that? We need people focused on that. And you actually have your experience within your family uh, regarding the family business, correct? Well, my father is a small business owner. Um, he's been an a insurance agent for many years. Um, I myself, uh, I'm, I'm a lawyer. Uh, I went to, I was the first uh, person in my family to go to law school. Um, but I represent small businesses every day, frankly, against government overreach. Uh, I was a former Department of Justice attorney and in the tax division. Uh, so I've, I've flipped over to the other side now and I defend taxpayers who are, uh, what I consider to be, uh, you know, um, encroached upon by big government. I try to, try to defend them against, uh, you know, the IRS and, Certainly, uh, you know, small business owners often become targets of those types of uh, overreach situations. So that's what I do every day, Jamie. Well, it sounds great. I mean, you're a good guy. I, you know, uh, Mark is a young go-getter, and I'm. I love the story about how you used to go downtown to the hobby shop. That hobby shop's still there, right? Uh, it's not, unfortunately. Oh. So you're absolutely right. My my mother grew up in Crestwood, just down the road from right. Kirkwood. And my grandpa was an avid train lover and uh, would take me down to the hobby shop there and 
uh, pick up new pieces, new parts for his massive train set he had in his basement uh, at their home in, in Crestwood there. So that was uh, always a good time, spending time with my, gr- my grandma and grandpa there. Well, because now, is that the one, because I, is there another one in Kirkwood that's a train place? So there, okay. there's yeah, there's one along Manchester there, which I think is technically Rock Hill. Oh, gotcha. Um, and and the one in downtown Kirkwood is actually is actually vacant right now, which oh. is pretty sad. We were actually thinking about trying to raise some money to turn it into our campaign headquarters. Uh, that hasn't worked out quite yet, but I think that would be a pretty cool story if we were able to pull that off. That's a bummer because I used to go there a long time ago because I ha- I have a bunch of trains and I ha- I kind of you know didn't have much time to 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 keep it up when sure. I moved so. Uh, I didn't know that was not there anymore. But, hey, Mark, great job, buddy. Really appreciate you uh, being on with us, and good luck with the race. It was a pleasure to have uh, shaken your hand uh, not too long ago when I met you face-to-face. And if you go to markmiltonmo.com, you can find out more about who he is, what he stands for. But right now, folks, you know it's all about the economy. So Mark Milton's your guy if that's what you're interested in, and hopefully you are. At Mark Milton Mo. Appreciate you, buddy. Thanks, Jamie. Really appreciate it. All right. Thank you very much. It's Common Sense Radio. If you're retiring in the next five years, we need to talk. Hi, I'm Bob Stockdale, First Vice President Investments with Stiefel and host of On the Money, heard every Saturday from 11 till noon on FM News Talk 97.1. Retirement is a huge step, and when it comes to an 